Hello everyone, I have just finished the handy tool for optimizing Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes mods, so let me show it to you. Now I wanted to show you this tool on someone you might know, so let's pretend for a while I'm Smithy D. Now click to load mods from GG page. Let's use this token. Now mods are loaded, usually quite a bit slower, into app. And now how it works. Let's pick one tool. I will say optimize for speed and speed only. Bam, we have it here. Okay, we can see 132 speed gained. These are other stats gained from this mod set. Now let's add a bit damage to our equation. Mm, and now we can see this is pretty much what uh, Smithy did for his Enfist Nest. Of course this is Arena team. Now when I say mm, I don't like this breaking of mo uh, mod sets tenacity potency set. I just push here and we have different combination which doesn't break any mod sets but is of course a bit slower. Now let's say Emphis is untouchable. We don't want to move her mods or his mods. I don't know. I will just mark her like this. She will get this nice yellow and recalculate. Mm, you can see these mods are no more used. Now let's try to optimize one tool really properly. I will pick Han Solo. Now when I optimize properly you should mostly look at top 4 rows speed, damage, survival, potency. Speed is pretty obvious. Damage uh, solves for you whether crit chance and crit damage or offense are better for this tool. Survival mixes health, protection and armor. And potency is obvious as well. Now bottom six stats are special. I will show you later what are they good for. Now what we want from Han Solo. We want to mod him for damage, obviously, speed less important, and let's say we want to have at least some survival and potency for Arena, whatever. Want to land his stance, want him to get or to pick some good mods, also survival wise. Now let's see what we get. 91 speed, 80% of additional damage. Now I think that's pretty good. I see broken set. Well, I usually don't want broken sets. Now how much worse will, be, will it be without? Mm, we lose 10 speed. We can tinker with it a bit. How much would we lose with more speed? 91 sp 99 speed, 70% damage. Well, I think I would prefer the previous one. Yeah, I think acceptable. Okay, now there are a few tricks you can do with this optimizer. Now, if I want to use Hansel with uh, R2D2, his 10% uh, crit chance buff can be taken into calculation just like this you can see what's changed damage and speed changed a bit as well now I can say that uh, I will have some special team, I don't know, use Han Solo with first order, whatever and will have advantage for him for each and every turn. 
Now 100% crit chance. We will change the optimization formula even more. Now you can see here is <laughs> another spe special stuff. That's not in-game value. What you will see. This is rate of actual critting. So he will crit each and every turn, and that affects his modding. You will see offense is preferred almost everywhere, but of course you need 216 crit damage total for best result. I will show you one newer feature, which is starting points. Now for Dart Sion I have already some advice or st and starting points which are basically what I would use for arena all-rounder good for everything this mod set now if I want him more to survive than anything else different modding and if I want to have him as threat, which is more damage output, this may be it. Simple. Now let's show also those specialties. For example, Paris needs to use one of those lower six stats. She wants bonus health as much as possible. Speed and well pretty much nothing else I think and pretty easy defense set, health set, potency set, here is broken set let's solve it now speed and health set is pretty much what I would want to give her now bonus health nice increase and speed as well. Now let's show something else. Night Sister Zombie. Now for <laughs> Zombie for Phase 4, I think you want to have as much speed as possible, but as well as low health as possible. Now let's see where it gets us. Yeah, absolutely minimal health increase, while speed is pretty good, I think. Okay, that's, I think, acceptable. Maybe crit damage set is something I don't want to waste on her. Speed set, tenacity, your offense, well, whatever. Let's try this. Yeah, I think pretty good result after all speed, potency. Nope, no potency. Yeah, speed and tenacity. I think that's that's the ideal. And last one, for example, base. If you want to mod him for phase four of heroic sick trade that phase when you are aga against Treya only I mod him for absolutely no speed absolutely max survival of course you can tinker with it a bit add some damage or whatever but these are the important stats so here I can gain modding not giving any speed giving maximal survival. I think pretty good. Now just one last thing I wanted to share with you. I went through Smithy's mods for his arena team and well I tried to guess what he wanted with, with those mods and uh, guess importance of uh, those stats and try to find some even marginal improvements 
I can tell you it wasn't really easy. I think we did it like 10 minutes, but small improvements can be found. Uh, for Enfys Nest, no improvement because he just uh, went with uh, maximum speed. Nothing can be improved here. For Dart Scion, I found combination which may be marginally better, marginally better speed, damage and survival. For Treya, bigger improvement, but still 5%, it's borderline of what I want to remote in-game. Nihilus, marginal increase, and maybe Sith Trooper can be made even more tankier than he was.